How's it going guys? We're back on my video here. It's gonna be a little short video going over my devil's team that I have so far. We're trying to improve on it every day. Uh, I, again, I really didn't have too much here to make uh, today. I'm also not feeling great. I'm actually still going through a, a stomach bug, stomach virus. Uh, it's going through my whole house, unfortunately. So yeah, I'm trying to get through that right now, but still gotta make the content, all right? Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe if you're not already. Let's hop into the video right now. So yeah, I'm gonna kind of just run through it here. Uh, it's it's looking pretty good. I mean, it's looking pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. So the first line, we got Dawson Mercer fantasy card. All right, so uh, he's a nice card. I got both synergies activated on him, giving him a max out shot. I got gold, uh, make it snappy on him, and silver elite edges. I think that's a pretty good combo right there for him. Uh, we have the center of Nico Heischer, 93 overall. It's his highest rated card right now. 94 speed. We'll love to get two way forward acting and give him 99 face offs, but 97 will have to do for now. Gold born leader. Silver ensemble of force also is pretty nice uh, on him. I feel like born leader is such a good one to have active. I mean, why not, right? Um, I like it a lot. Uh, nice up in face offs, like I said, it's very nice. Uh, then we got Jack Hughes X Factor, who hopefully Jack Hughes can get an upgrade kind of soon, right? It's, it's been a little while now for him, but. Uh, I definitely understand why he hasn't gotten an upgrade recently. He hasn't played absurdly good or anything like that. I got gold wheels and silver unstoppable force on him. 96 speed and 97 excel is very, very good on him, though. So that's a very positive uh, thing about this card. But yeah, Jack Hughes plays amazing in game. And for me, that first line is electric. Got Steve Sullivan here. This card's actually really fun, too. He's 99 speed at excel. Uh, it's, it's a card that you wouldn't think of, right? Like, you, like, how many of you guys watching this video know Steve Sullivan, 94 overall, has 99 speed in Excel? Probably not many of you. Uh, and his shot's nearly maxed out, too. 99, 98, 99, 98, what synergies that is. Uh, silvery lead edges, too. I don't even really need these lead edges with how good his skating is in general. But uh, good hands, too. Really a great, great second line player. I know he's 5'8", 165. He's certainly small, but uh, listen, he's, he's still so fast. It's kind of all that really matters. Uh, we got the center of Zubris here, and it's funny because Zubris, you're saying, well, it's his right wing, right? Well, he's got 95 face-offs, and honestly, no one else on this team has has good uh, face-offs. So it's it's really kind of had to be Zubris, and he's 6'5", 225. He's got that center build, too, so it uh, really works out for him. Got sniper forward and shooting boost on him, giving him a 98, 99, 99, 98 shot. So I got very lucky. They came out with the Zubris card. Uh, Silver make it snappy, active on him here as well. Uh, Zubris is a really fantastic card, I think, too, for the center spot. And then we got Taylor Hall, 94 overall. His card's insane, too. 99 speed and 97 acceleration here. Goldie lead edges, Silver unstoppable force. Uh, you got to think. I mean, this line should be awesome. You got two cards that have 99 speed. You have a 6'5 center with 95 speed. So uh, it really should only really have it's just only good results. I mean, that's the reality of it. It should only be good results. So the second line's amazing. Now we got Randy McKay. Randy McKay, I mean, great, great playoff player for the Devils. I mean, he's an OG Devil for sure. He scored that clutch overtime goal back in the day. 6'2", 210, right-handed. He's got speed boost active, 92 speed and 90 excel. The only thing that's terrible is his endurance. 78 endurance is... Yeah, it's not great, but Randy's still a good card. Uh, then we got Patrick Ellis. I had to play him at center as well, because as I said, there's really not that many good centers that I can really use. 85 face-offs. I mean, it's fine. Obviously, which is a little bit better, but it's, it's going to have to do the job, really, unfortunately. Uh, but 94 speed, 94 excel is, is pretty good on him. Decent shot, 94, 93, 99, 98. Need like a really good Eliash card to come out, like besides this. It's going to be tough, though, because I mean, it's not going to be an MSP Eliash. So, probably have to be later in the year where Eliash gets another card. But, I mean, listen, he's still a fun card to use. Then we got Jesper Bratt, 92 overall, 95 speed and 93 Excel. Uh, really good card here. Silver really Elite Edges. Bratt is such a fun player to watch in real life, too. I feel like people don't give him enough credit, honestly. Like, Devils fans are kind of like toxic towards him. I don't know why. He's such a good player for them, but. Uh, just for Brad, for this third line is, is simply remarkable. We got Tyler Toffoli. Honestly, he's just a big synergy plug here. No offense, Tyler, but speed boost. You know, we needed that active, so got it on it on, on the fourth line here. Uh, and Sniper forward is active for him there, too. Um, but yeah, I mean, for the fourth line, why not? 88 speed. Uh, and then we got Jason Arnett. Arnett is just fine, right? It's funny. I have a 93 on my forward line, but then I have an 86 as well, right? Just goes to show you how, you know, positions, right, are, are such a different thing. I mean, Arnott, I could definitely put up ahead of Eliash. I mean, I, I just, I like Eliash more than Arnett. I definitely understand I probably should put play Arnett ahead of him, but uh, I like Eliash more of a player, as a player than Arnett, because obviously I watched Eliash play as, you know, growing up. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Arnett, Arnett's, Arnett's solid. 
Uh, then we got Timo Myers, Timo Time, 92 speed, nice 90 acceleration here, 96, 97, 97, 93 for his shot. Solid. I mean, solid. I mean, can't really get you know that much from him he's on the fourth line right but he's, he's fine Bench, we got dougie hamilton here dougie hamilton he's unreal we all know gold shutdown silver quick pick i mean 94 speed got scott niedermeyer with him as well got to upgrade niedermeyer it's actually a speed boost to uh, his next upgrade do i have the power-ups i do not right now but i will upgrade him asap for sure get him up to 91 overall but this card's fun i always like niedermeyer in game he always plays very well silver stick him up here as well as what i have active i'll probably throw elite edges on him too now because i mean 93 speed is very very nice uh the second pair we got nemitz here as well 61190 goal quick pick silver stick him up on him here as well 95 speed and excel is actually very very good on this card uh, i like it a lot 96 defensive awareness is quite nice too uh, Nemitz plays really well in game. I've actually been very impressed with him. I actually use him on my main team right now. I think you guys, if you watch my latest team update video, you would have seen that. Uh, but I like Nemitz a lot. And then playing with him is Luke Hughes, 90 overall. That's the only downside of the Devils team build right now. There's really not a lot of good lefties. I would love a good Ken Danico card because, well, Ken Danico is Mr. Devil. You know, any Devils fans watching, you know that. He's a legend. Uh, goalie lead edges. Silver stick him up. 94 speed and 92 excel, though. I mean, I can't complain about the first two lefties. It's just that third pair, D-Man, you'll see in a second. We're kind of struggling with, but uh, Luke Hughes is still very, very good. I mean, 95 defensive awareness is, is not too bad either on him. So uh, I'm a big fan of this card, and honestly, there's really not a real reason to, like, you know, get that mad about it. Then we got Vaughn in. I mean, I wish you get his team of the season card, but I do not have the coins to get that card right now, and I'm not doing a, doing a set you know, risking it and, and tra trading all this stuff in to get duplicate Connor McDavid team of the season. That'd be a waste. But 93 speed and excel. He's an all offensive defenseman here. I mean, 93 defensive awareness is fine, I guess, but uh, he's solid. I mean, I, I like him for the for the third pair. I mean, he's not going to do too much here for you, but I mean, he's he's there. Uh, this is what I'm talking about, though. We got 85 Kevin Ball here. I mean, listen, Kevin, you're you're trying your best out there. The good thing about Kevin Ball, though, is he's 6'6". Six, six. I mean, that's good. He's He's really big out there. His speed's obviously not great. 87 speed and 87 excel. But I guess for 6'6 six, six on your third pair, I guess it could be worse, right? It's, it's not the end of the world here at all. So uh, Kevin Ball, 85 overall. And then the goaltending. Right now, it's the current tandem of Jake Allen and Capo Kakinen in real life. I mean, I just got to make Brodor and just you can use Brodor, I think. I mean, you can say what you want. I mean, I was trying Allen out. I mean, he seems fine. I only played one game with him, but... Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably not going to use Jake Allen on an all-time Devils team. That just seems a little bit crazy, maybe disrespectful to some of the other goalies that have played with the Devils, especially Martin Brodeur. But uh, that's my Devils team so far. Obviously, a work in progress. I mean, let me know. Guys, if there's anyone that I'm not thinking of that aren't on my team that's actually like an attainable card, let me know because I feel like I have most of the good cards, right? Like of, of the former Devils. Like I'm, I'm not sure I can think of anyone else. But uh, I know, obviously... Um, you know, new and Dykes team builder, right? But you know, that's an 87. Uh, Shanahan, obviously, but let me know what you guys think of the team, though. And I really appreciate everyone that watched. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. Please make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and follow me on Twitch, Henrique. I'm live there every single day. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you get three E's. And be sure to join my Discord. Talk to me, followers, and subscribers to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.